before I started tattooing, I was working in Australia, obviously, with purchasing, logistics, marketing, managing, working in a lot of big end industries. Um, the first one that I majorly did before tattooing was working in a retail company that sold everything from salt and pepper shakers up to big industrial cookers. But the thing was, I was always into art since I was a kid, since I was seven. But then I transitioned from that into my teenage years, hanging out in the front of tattoo studios. And my favorite thing was to, to listen to the tattoo machines. And I remember growing up that the sound of those machines was such a passionate sound. And I remember the day I turned 18, I walked into a tattoo studio, got my first tattoo and went, I want to do this for a living. Transition my drawings and paintings onto someone's skin. So then I moved to Ireland. And then when I moved here, I obviously went into another business and still realized that there was something missing in my life. And then I went from that and made the big jump and, and became a tattoo artist. So I did tattooing off and on a little bit in Australia, but focused mainly when, when I came here to Ireland. And then that's when it all happened. So when I first moved to Ireland, obviously the first two years I wasn't allowed to work. Um, that was the conditions of moving into Ireland. Um, I tried my hand in real estate for, for some unknown reason, so I did. And then I worked in Dublin in a large heating and hot water service company. In my life, it was just something was missing. Again, it was art, it was tattooing. So what I did was I approached a company here in Kildare and asked them if they were looking for a new artist. So they took me on board. I was there for a few years. I built up a wonderful amount of clientele and all of them just got to a point and said, come on, Simi, it's about time you opened your own tattoo studio. So my husband and I sat back. It was just before COVID and we said, should we, shouldn't we? And we tossed and turned with it because it is a big jump. And then we said, sure, look, fuck it, we'll do it. So we looked for a place, we'd found about 10 or 11 different places around the area between Nace, Newbridge, Kildare, Kukulun, all of that. And we'd found one place in Kukulun, it was an amazing place, and then COVID hit. So we took a step back and we said, look, now's not the time to do it. So we were disheartened, we went, okay, maybe it's not meant to be. And then all of a sudden, this beautiful place opened up. We came and had a look and we said, the view is amazing, the space is amazing. It was just a beautiful place. And COVID was starting to settle down then. It wasn't too bad. So we said, look, we'll take the leap in the middle of COVID. Give us some time while I'm still tattooing and while he's still working to open the studio, get it prepared and everything like that. And then we took that leap. We opened this place on the 2nd of November last year. And it was the best thing we ever did. And taking that chance during COVID was the hardest thing we ever did. It's either make or break a tattoo studio. But it's just been amazing. All our clientele, our followers, our friends, family, huge supporters of our place and we couldn't be more thankful. I don't specialize in one particular type of, of tattooing. A lot of artists do and that's what they do and that's it. What I've done is I've become an all-rounder tattoo artist. So everything from fine line small tattoos to complicated detail ones to full sleeves, full back pieces. What I would say I specialize in is black and gray. I prefer black and gray because the amount of details and contrast that you can put into it. Um, full sleeves and full back pieces and full leg sleeves are just amazing because what can happen is from the beginning of the day to the end of the day, you just get drawn into your tattoo. It's you and your ink and that's it. And then all of a sudden, by the end of the day, you just look and go, I just created this masterpiece. I have three tattoos that are my favorites and they were done by my husband, my daughter and my son. So my husband put, I love you at the front of my leg my daughter put I love you on the side of my leg and my six-year-old son drew a love heart on my leg. So I have all three of them together. So of all of my tattoos, that would be the most meaningful one.